It's JP and me, we're here! We are back for JP's 8 month update! <gasps> you are 8 months now! Mm. And he weighs almost 20 pounds! That is like 9.5 kgs guys! Mm. This baby is giant! Mm. Yes, you are! And as you can hear, he's become a lot more vocal, a lot more interactive. He mm. And a lot more fussy like he needs a lot of attention now he gets bored very quickly so he likes us to go around and play games and show him things look he wants to go down he wants to see what there is to play with so he is reaching that busy boy phase okay so we have some toys for him let's see how long that keeps him busy for not very long and then, if necessary, we'll have to put him on the floor so he can move around. JP is not crawling yet. He mm -hmm. is going um, mm -hmm. like up on all fours. And funny enough, he moves around. Like he seems to change, put, change positions and make it across to certain areas. But he is not actually crawling. He's just <laughs> maneuvering his body. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm getting a little worried because, I mean... What point is he meant to crawl? You know, so if any moms have any ideas on how to motivate a lazy boy to crawl, please write it down in the comments below. We have tried a lot of different techniques and are not having much luck. JP is more interested in walking, he really adds, puts a lot of weight on his legs, he's very strong, and he can actually walk quite nicely just holding your fingers like this. So I think he might actually want to walk rather than crawl but I do feel that it's important for him to crawl so we don't miss that developmental milestone. Um, JP now has two teeth at the bottom, they're beautiful because one popped up and it was quite far out and then a second one popped up and now they've caught up. Smile for everybody, show me your toothies. Where's the toothies? Where's the toothies? There they are and they hurt. He has bitten us <laughs> a few times. And they really are sharp little pigs. And we noticed this week as well that there is one coming out on the top as well. He's got a big toffee pig on the top too. Okay. We're pretty nervous about that because could you imagine the bite? Mm -hmm. This is JP's first sippy cup. And um, he's still getting the hang of it because he kind of has to bite and suck it really hard to get the liquid out. So he's really been used to his bottles. So this is a big adjustment for him. This is a really cute little sippy cup. Moms, if you want to find a sippy cup that is truly leak, drip proof, this is it. Even when you squeeze it. Munchkin sells these. I bought it in the Target here in the States. And I think it was a couple dollars, about two or three dollars. Um, really cool. If you don't, if you like non-drip cups, this is truly non-drip. So this is JP's first sippy cup and we just fill it with some nice filtered water and he quite enjoys that every now and again. He still is really crazy about his milk. We are just flying through tins of milk. We're going to have to slow down on that because, I mean, at some point he's got to just stop. I mean, at night he drinks about almost two bottles of milk, a bottle and a half. And I'm having to change his diaper in the middle of the night now because the diaper is just so full that he wets the linen. So that has become a bit of a problem. We have to really slow down on the milk. But he has recently started liking solid food a lot more. So he is eating a lot more. But something I also realized about JP and moms, you all know about this, is that you get to know your children. And JP does not like a lot of pureed food. He's quite selective on what he likes regarding pureed food. He loves more independent eating. So what he does love 
is, for example, little Cheerios, the non-sweetened ones, but you can buy the baby version of them in the baby aisles. Um, little fruit yogurt drops, also especially for babies. Baby teething biscuits also for the appropriate age. Carrot sticks, he loves chewing on those. Any type of cracker. So that really is what he likes and he can eat quite a lot in the mornings and during the day like that especially he has to wake up in the mornings and he has to have his little baby cereal which is these little um ot type of things like uh, cheerios and he eats a lot of those something we've also noticed with jp and it became quite evident when we were visiting family was that he becomes very shy of people especially people he doesn't know and he sometimes cries when they get too close to him or if they take him then he cries he's definitely having separation anxiety but it is so cute because he cuddles right into us into our chest like as if he wants to disappear and um it hasn't been good in the sense that a lot of people are family and so they get a little bit offended that he doesn't want to talk to them but I think it's a completely natural thing for the age, you know, they're having a little bit of separation anxiety and they're starting to become aware of strangers. It's nice to know that he does recognize us and he feels comfort in our presence. Another cool thing that I wanted to show all you moms who are good at DIY is um, my mom-in-law made this little blanket. And it basically is one of those microfiber dust cloths. You can buy them in most stores and she's basically diy'd it into like a little texture blanket so it has ribbons of different textures some little rings and a button and it really stimulates their senses it's like a little sense blanket jp really loves this this is a really cool quick easy affordable thing to make so if you can sew and you have a few of these items at home Give it a try. Make a few for your ba your baby and also make a few for gifts. I think it's a really cute idea. This is Mikey. He is sleeping in his crib at night um, until the early hours of the morning and then he comes to us for a few cuddles. But he is still waking up a lot at night and it is for those bottles. Like I said, we are going to have to start weaning him from milk. Um, he is a very sweet little baby and we noticed about a month ago he went through quite a phase where he was crying a lot, quite whingy whiny. I don't know if the teeth were causing him a lot of problems but I've noticed since we've arrived in the States he's just calmed right down even with this heat and he's quite calm and happy. The only issue is is that he wants to be entertained. He gets bored very easily so we're having to do a lot of walks, a lot of toy activities, when I'm doing things like cooking, etc. He wants to be in my arms, he wants to be entertained because he's getting quite bored. He's having two naps a day. He naps in the morning and he naps in the afternoon. And he is loving his daily swims. Where are you going? You see, this is the boredom. He can't sit for this long. He is bored now. He wants to go and play. He says, Mom, we haven't swam today. He loves swimming. I'm going to include some shots of him in the water. He just loves the coolness of that and he just splashes, splashes, splashes all the time. Okay, so I'm giving JP his milk because it's time for his little nap. So he's having two naps a day, morning and then in the afternoon. And he is still taking his pacifier, although I think at about 10, 11 months I'd like to wean him from that. Um, and he's not too attached to his, his pacifier. He likes it every now and again just to calm down. But luckily he isn't the type of baby that means it. <laughs> he's such a sweet, lovely boy. And we really are enjoying this phase. It's quite cute because now they're very interactive. They complain when they don't like things. They laugh when they do. So we really are enjoying this eight month phase. Guys, I'm also going to be doing a baby haul sometime with some clothing. We need to do a little bit of summer wear in the next age for JP. It's not too many clothes we need in this Florida heat. It seems like just the diaper is really all. But we need to get just a few cute little summer outfits to go off to Disney in. So we will post that shortly. Take care. Bye.